come through, Lord. Blessings. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is War Room Wednesday. Blessings to everyone right in this war room. This is Pastor Jeff, Pastor Purpose Life right here in Leesville, Louisiana. Come on into this war room and let us just press on in to the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Come on into this War Room Wednesday. It is War Room Wednesday. It is time to invoke the presence of the Almighty God. Blessings to everyone. This is Pastor Jeff. Glory to God. Come on in here. Put in those comments. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is War Room Wednesday. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We are pressing on. We are pressing in. We are believing God. Hallelujah. Let's go. See you, First Lady. Blessing to you. Mother Millie, let's go. Greetings. Glory to God. Andre, blessings to you, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stodja, blessings to you. Woman of great faith, good to see you. This is War Room Wednesday. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessings to everyone that is chiming in, that is coming in. Make sure you share this with someone. Let them know that War Room Wednesday is already here. Glory to God. Oh my God, my God. Elder, blessings to you, Elder D. Good to see everyone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know what we do to every War Room alumni. You know exactly what we need to do. Let's go, Antoinette. Blessings to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's go. Let's get in the presence of God. Hallelujah. War Room Wednesday is in effect. Full effect. That's it. Send up those hearts to heaven. To every War Room alumni, this isn't the first time that we enter into his presence with thanksgiving and praise. Hallelujah. Come on in this War Room. Share this with someone. Let them know that War Room is now in full effect. It is Wednesday. This is the day that some of us have been waiting for to get back into this War Room, to press in his presence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a time it is to be a child of the Most High God. I said, what a time it is to be a child of the Most High God. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. It's good to see everyone coming back up in this war room. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, send up those hearts to heaven as we press in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know it seems like it's been a long, long time since we been in this war room. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We had an amazing Pentecost experience, Pentecost encounter on Pentecost Sunday. What an amazing time that we've had in the presence of God. Hallelujah. How many of you are excited? How many of you are excited about the things of God, what God is doing in your life, what God is doing in the kingdom? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, share this with someone. Share this with someone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Share this with someone. We're going to press on in. We are believing God. Glory to God. That this night on this inaugural War Room Wednesday, that God's going to take us higher and higher in his presence. Glory to God. Blessings to you, Andre. Good to see you, a man of God. Blessings to you, James. Good to see you as well. Glory to God. It was good to finally meet you, Andre, at the Pentecost um, experience. It was an honor to meet you, sir. Thank you for your faithfulness, for coming and being in that, in that room with us, in that space with us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Let us go to the throne room of grace. Let us go to the throne of grace. And let us pray to the Father. Father, we honor you. We bless you. Glory to your most high and righteous name. 
You are God that sits on high and you look low. You are that God that can shift the winds from the north, the south, the east, and the west. You are that God that can stand at the bow of a ship and say, peace, be still. You are that God that can walk on water and beckon those with faith to walk on that exact same water. You are that God that can raise the dead. You are that God that can give blind the sight to see. You are that God that can make the deaf man hear. And God, we honor you today. You are that God that heals and delivers. We bless your holy and righteous name. Now, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that, God, that this will be a moment, this will be a movement continued in your presence. Hey. This will be a movement continued in your presence. Now, God, I pray that we lay aside every weight and every sin that is so easy beset us. That God, that we may enter in this war room in your presence with clean hands and a pure heart. Yeah. Father, I bless you, I honor you now. Thank you for what you're going to do in this war room as we seek your face. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Come on and send up those hearts to heaven. Let heaven know that we are rejoicing. We are in agreement that the movement has continued. Glory to God. The movement has continued that we haven't stopped. Glory to God. The movement has continued in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I salute you all with the with Jesus joy good to see everyone in, a, in 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 this war room on today this war room Wednesday glory to God hallelujah 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 I have been in the in the face of God not only for war room Wednesday but for Sunday as well and I believe that God he is he's not done he's not done he is not done he is not done Put that in those comments. The movement has continued. The movement has continued. The movement has continued. I have been praying for each and every one of you in this war room. Those that have been connected to this war room. And I have been praying for you. I have been praying that your faith fail you not. I said I have been praying that your faith fail you not. Jesus told the man of God Peter. He said Peter. Satan desire to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed that your faith fail thee not. Glory to God. And, 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 I, and that is my prayer tonight, that our faith fail us not. That we stay in this movement, that we stay focused on God, and that we do not just take the moment of Pentecost Sunday and just chalk it up as a moment but this is a movement blessings to you Janice Baker good to see you in the war room as well but I have been praying for your faith people of God I have been praying for your faith that your faith fail you not that you have continued the fire that was lit inside your belly on Pentecost Sunday that you continued in the fire that has been lit inside your belly over the 50 days of prayer that your faith fail you not that you understand that God he is a God of faith that God he is a God that he should not lie but a, nor the son of man that he should not repent but whatever God said he shall do it so I, I so I just want us to just pray about our faith that we are faith focused that we are faith focused because what the enemy would do the enemy will come on into the room once you leave the room and he would pick on your faith and he would tap into your doubt and he would tap into your your insecurities and he would tap into your proclivities and he will make whispers in your ear to say that ain't real nothing happened it's, it's all a, a farce. But let me tell you something, beloved. 
what happened on Pentecost Sunday, even a sinner man have to admit that there was a power of God that moved. How many of you are still basking in Pentecost Sunday? That even though we're two weeks, that even though we're we're out of it, but the residue of Pentecost Sunday is still marinating in your spirit. Glory to God. That it is still marinating in your spirit. That we cannot just take that and just walk away, but we have to be faith focused. Faith focus. Faith focus. And now that we have we have gotten the word, we have got we have experienced and encountered God. But I want us to be faith focused. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just encourage somebody in this timeline right there in those comments. Just put that word faith focus. Faith focus. Faith focus. We have to stay faith focused. Hallelujah. That we have to stay faith focused. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That God, He wants us to be faith focused. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just put that in those comments. Faith focus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> faith focus. That's it, first lady. Faith focus. Faith focus. You have to understand. You have to keep your faith focused on the promises of God. The word of God. What God said. What God has declared. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Faith focus. Hallelujah. Oh my God, my God. Faith focus. That's it right there. Faith focus. Blessings to you, Rolene. Philippians 4 and 8. Blessings to you, Leo, my friend, my brother in faith. Faith focus. Glory to God. Put that in those comments. Philippians 4 and 8. It reads like this. Finally, brothers and sisters. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think on those things. So I want you to think on the promises of God. Hallelujah. I said, I want you to think on the promises of God. My God, my God, my God. How many of you are holding on to the promises of God? That there is a promise over your life. I said that there is a promise over your life. And you got to hold on to the promises of God. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh man, I feel that. Hallelujah. Hold on to the promises of God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I want us to hold on to the promises of God. Whatever God declared... Hold on to those promises, beloved. Mm -mm. Do not grow weary in well-doing, but you shall reap if you faint not. Hold on. Glory to God. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. I said hold on to the promises. Do not allow the enemy to come in and steal what God has promised you. Do not allow the enemy to come in and, and, and rob you of what God has promised you. My God, my God. You have to lock up your promise with faith. Oh my God. I think I said something right there. I said you have to lock up your promise with faith. Receive the promise. You have to lock it up with faith. And you have to believe it. Glory to God. You have to lock your promise with faith. Not with fear. Not with flesh. But with faith. I think I said something right there. I said you have to lock your promise with faith. I don't care what it looks like. Hey God. I don't care what the circumstances around it. But you have to lock your promise with faith. Oh my God. That's shouting stuff right there. I say you have to lock your promise with faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lock your promise with faith. Faith. Whatever God said, he shall bring it to pass. Whatever God declared, he shall bring it to pass. Lock your promise with faith. Glory to God. 
My God, my God, my God. Lock your promise with faith. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody put in those comments, lock it up. Lock it up. Put in those comments, lock it up. Hallelujah. Put in those comments, lock it up. Lock it up. Glory to God. Lock up your promise. Hey, I like that, Stodger. Lock up your promise. I like that. Lock up your promise. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Lock it up. Do not allow the devil to come and take what God has declared over your life. You got to lock it up. That's it. You got to lock it up. Glory to God. And check this out. You're the only one that has the key to that promise. Oh, my God. Mm. Do you hear what I just said? I said, you're the only one that have the key to that promise. Because your faith is the key to the promise. Oh, my God, my God. I said, once we lock it up, our faith is the key to the promise. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because I can't unlock it. No one else can unlock your promise but your faith. Mm. Oh, my God. I think that's a word for somebody that God told me to tell somebody you have to lock your promise with faith. Faith, And watch this now. You're the only one that can unlock it. Oh, my God. Mm. My, 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 my. I say, you're the only one that can unlock it. You're the only one that can unlock it. Glory to God. I, I need to give you some word with this. I need to give you some word with this. The Bible talks about the woman with the issue of blood. The woman with the issue of blood. The Bible says she said within herself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God. The Bible says she said within herself. If I may what? Touch the hem of his garment. I would be made what? Whole. What did she do? She unlocked her promise with her faith. Oh my. Mm. She locked her promise. But her faith was the key to unlock it. To manifest it. Oh, am I helping somebody? Am I helping somebody tonight? You got to understand that. You got to understand that. Glory to God. I said you got to understand that. That your faith is the key to unlock your promise. Whatever God declared over your life, he what I'm about to tell you. It's not my faith. It's not no one else's faith that's going to unlock that promise, but your faith. Once you receive it, you lock it up. Oh, my God. Once you receive that word, you lock it up. Watch this now. And in order for that word to manifest, your faith have to go in and unlock that thing to manifest it. What are you talking about? We have to work our faith. In order for the thing that God promised us to come to pass. Glory to God. My God. Mark chapter 5 verse 25. It reads like this. I'm just in the word of God. Because we need to see it in the scripture. Where this woman she had faith to believe. But watch, watch this now. She had the faith to believe that she's healed. Watch this. But it was not until she unlocked her faith. And got into the presence of God. And her healing was manifested. My God, my God. Watch this now. The Bible declares in this in Mark chapter 5, verse 25. And a certain woman, you know the story, had an issue of blood. And straightway, and this is what she said. Hear this. For she said, if I may touch, but his clothes, I shall be whole. Now, what did she just do right there? Somebody help me out. When the woman of God said, for she said, if I may touch, but his clothes, I shall be whole. What did she just do right there? Can somebody help me out? What happened? She unlocked her faith. She unlocked her promise with her faith. She knew that she's in glory to God. I am entitled to this healing. Oh my God. I'm here to help somebody. I'm here to help somebody. That's right. She unlocked it. That's right, first lady. She unlocked it. Hallelujah. I am entitled to my healing. Because I'm a child of God. I am entitled to my peace because I'm a child of God. I am entitled to be the head and not the tail. She unlocked her faith. Glory to God. Are you hearing me tonight? Are you hearing me tonight? Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are on this live feed tonight, Father God, that God, that they receive the promise, that they locked up the promise. But God, I pray that they go to another level and unlock their promise with their faith. And God, they begin to walk out the promise with their faith. 
And God, I pray in the name of Jesus that we do not get blindsided by what we cannot see. We do not get ambushed by the, by the distractions around us, but we stay focused in the thing you have called us to do, that our faith is focused in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to understand what you got to do, beloved. You got to understand what you got to do. Do not allow. The Bible said Satan come to steal, kill, and to destroy. Jesus said that. Satan come to kill, steal, and destroy. You have to lock up your promise with your faith. If not, the enemy will come in and he will grab it and he will take it from you. Oh my God. I don't know about you, but the devil's not taking my promise. The devil's not taking my blessing. Glory to God. Who on this live feed that can make that declaration that you're going to protect your promise, that you're going to protect your harvest, that you're going to protect the word that God prophesied over your life. I'm here to encourage somebody tonight. I have been in prayer for you, War Room, and the Spirit of God began to talk to me and told me to just tell you to have faith that is focused. You cannot be sidetracked. You cannot be sidetracked by what you cannot see. Glory to God. But you have to be faith focused. Glory to God. You got to be faith focused. You got to stay focused. You got to continue to travel this road. You got to continue to do what God has called you to do. The promises of God are yes and amen. You got to stay focused. This woman, she said, if I may touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Hey. Hey, God. I will be made whole. I will be made whole. Huh? I will be made whole. That's right. You have to protect it, Andre. You got to protect that thing. You got to protect your promise. You got to protect your harvest. You got to protect it. Watch this now. And you got to have the spirit inside of you to give you the understanding that God is saying that while you're waiting on him to manifest, your faith has to be protecting the promise. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but somebody on this live feed, the enemy has been trying to come in and whisper little doubts and criticisms and isms in your ear. And I hear the Spirit of God say, you got to protect the promise. Hey, you got to lock it up. Glory to God. Hey, protect the promise, Rolene. You got to protect the promise. Hey. You got to protect the promise. Whatever God declared over your life, you got to protect it. Hey, glory to God. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hey. Glory to God. The Bible said this woman said within herself, when was the last time you spoke confidence in yourself? My God, my God. When was the last time you and faith had a conversation? I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but you and faith, y'all need to have a conversation. You and faith, y'all need to have a conversation. We're busy telling everybody else what's going on in our lives, but we have yet to talk with faith. You and faith got to have a conversation. Now, when was the last time you had a conversation with your faith? When was the last time you and faith went out to dinner and y'all had a conversation? When was the last time you sat up in your bed huh, and you and faith had a conversation? Huh? When was the last time you read your word huh, and you and faith had a conversation? Huh? You got to have a conversation with your faith. Huh? The Bible said David encouraged huh, himself in the Lord. Huh? You got to have a conversation with your faith. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody put in those comments, talk to faith. Huh? Talk to faith. Huh? Talk to faith. Huh? When was the last time you talked to faith? Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Faith is like a faith is like a guard. Huh? It is faith is watching over the promise. Huh? Faith has locked up the promise. Huh? But that's all we did. Huh? We locked it up. Huh? But we did not go back and talk to faith huh? and say, faith, this time, huh? I want you to unlock that thing. Huh? And then I want to see what God huh, has for me. You got to talk to faith. Glory to God. You got to talk to faith. Huh? You got to talk to faith. Hey. I said, you got to talk to faith. Glory to God. You got to talk to faith. That's it, Janet. You got to talk 
to faith. Hey! You got to talk to faith. You got to let faith know. What are you doing? Hear what I'm telling you. We are so busy telling everybody else our plans, but faith is not at the table. And faith do not know what to go do because you have excommunicated faith. The kingdom of God operates by faith. Hey! Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Talk to faith, Rolene. When was the last time you and faith had a conversation? And you and faith is just talking. And you and faith, glory to God. You and faith need to sit there and have a conversation and talk to your faith. And let faith know to go get what God has promised me. To go and do what God has declared over my life. You got to release your faith. I'm here tonight to stir up your faith. Because some of us got in this movement and we had Pentecost Sunday. But our faith is stagnant. We got to wake up our faith. Our faith is stagnant. We got to a place and we think our faith has plateaued. Faith never plateaus. Faith always grows. But faith never plateaus. Whoa. You better hear me tonight. I said faith never plateaus. Faith always grows. You better put that in those comments. Faith never plateaus. Faith always grows. It is up to us, the believers, to release our faith as a higher and higher glory to God. Glory to God. That's it, Leo. It's time to activate. It's time to activate. Glory to God. I'm getting happy right now. I'm getting excited right now because I believe that God has given me this prayer tonight to just declare it over your life that your faith has to be active. Huh? Your faith has to be active. Huh? Faith never plateaus. Faith never come to a climax in your life and that's it. Faith never plateaus. Faith always grows. It is what we do with that. My God, my God. It is how we employ our faith. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to put in those comments, my faith is employed. My faith is employed. My faith is employed. I do not have faith that is in a unemployment line. My faith is employed. My faith is employed. My faith is working for me. My faith is moving for me. Because I believe in God for the blessings that come in my life. Hey. You better hear me tonight. You better hear me tonight. Glory to God. I say, you better hear me tonight. Hey, God. Glory to God. My faith is employed. That's it, brother. My faith is employed. My faith is employed. Glory to God. My faith is not broke. My faith is not in an unemployment line. My faith isn't homeless. I said, my faith isn't homeless. And I believe that some of us, we, that some of us, we sit back and we watch what God do it for everybody else. But our faith needs to be employed. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This one with the issue of blood, she had faith that was focused. She had focused faith. She had focused faith. Faith. You got to have that focused faith. This woman said, I'm not worried about who's in the crowd, who's not in the crowd. I got to have focused faith. Focused faith. Not homeless faith. Oh my God. Not faith that is unemployed, but my faith is working. My faith is moving. Hear what I'm about to tell you. My faith is moving. And you got to have, you got to have something some degree of analytics, some degree of, of, of faith data. Oh, if I can use that word. You got to have some faith data in your own life that captures your faith working for you. What are you talking about, man of God? You got to have something in your life that have manifested in your life by your faith. So you got to have that faith data. 
You gotta have those trends and analysis in your own spiritual walk. And you gotta have all of that stuff. And you gotta sit there and you gotta have that faith data to see that your faith is working. Oh my God. You gotta see what is around you. What is around you over the last 50 days up to this point? What has manifested in your life by faith that you can look at that and say, now that was good. My faith manifested that. Glory to God. This woman with the issue of blood, I'm in Mark chapter 5, verse 25. Tonight we're praying for faith that is focused. For focused faith. For focused faith. You gotta have something. You gotta have some data. You gotta have some evidence. You gotta have some trends and analysis in your own life to point to to say that is working. My faith is working because that has manifested. The word of God has manifested that because I released my faith on that. My God, my God. This woman in the with the issue of blood, she had evidence that her faith was working. Oh my God. And the Bible said, and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. Hear this now. And she felt in her body. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm here to help somebody tonight. Faith will give you that feeling. Faith will give you that unction. That God is moving in your life. Faith will give you that assurance. Huh? Faith will make your baby leap inside of you. To let you know that faith is working. That something is working. Huh? I don't know who I'm talking to. But I hear the Spirit of God say that it's working. Your faith is working. Huh? Your faith is working. Huh? Your faith is working. Huh? I can feel it. Huh? I can sense it. Huh? My faith is working. Huh? You got to know that you know that your faith is working. Huh? Somebody put in those comments, my faith is working. Huh? I can feel it. Huh? The Bible said this woman felt within herself huh? that the fountain of her blood dried up. She felt it. Huh? She sensed it. Huh? My faith is working. Hey! Father God, in the name of Jesus, huh, we declare and we decree, God, huh, that our faith is working, huh, that we have the evidence, huh, that we have the trends and the analysis, huh, we have the data, huh, we have the evidence to prove huh, that our faith is working. Hey, God. Hey, huh, my faith is working. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My faith is working, huh? My faith is working, huh? I got some evidence, huh? I got some, I got some evidence around me, huh? My faith is working, huh? How do you know your faith is working, huh? I did not like coming to church, huh? But there's something inside of me, huh? That raises me up every morning, huh? My faith, huh? Mercy is renewed over my life, huh? And faith tells me, huh? That I need to get in the house of God, huh? Because faith is telling me, huh? That there's a word, huh? In the house, huh? There's a word in this war room huh faith brought me to this war room huh? faith is gonna take me to a place of victory huh? because it's not by might huh? nor by power huh? but by the spirit says the living God hey glory to God glory to God can we just receive that huh? can we just receive that huh? my faith is working huh can we just receive that huh? Can we just receive that huh? and send up those hearts to heaven huh? and let faith know, huh? let heaven know huh? that our faith is working. Hey, God. That our faith is working. Huh? That our faith is working. Huh? Little by little, huh? it is working. Huh? Glory to God. I may not be huh, where I want to be, huh? but I'm not where I was. Huh? My faith is working. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Faith. Huh. Stir it up, God. Huh. Stir up our faith. Huh. Whatever we believe in God for, it's going to happen by faith. Huh. Glory to God. Hey. My faith. Huh. Blessing to you, Monique Thompson. My faith. Huh. My faith is working. Huh. I'm stirring it up. Huh. I'm stirring it up. Hey, God. Hey. My faith is working. Hey. Hey. How many of you can testify that your faith is working? Huh? How many on this live feed can testify that your faith is working? Huh? That you that you can look back over your life huh? and there is some clear, precise evidence huh? that your faith is working. 
Hey, God. See, the thing is, the reason why we get discouraged is we don't have, we do not look around us to see that our faith is working. Oh, my. See, we want to see the big stuff. We want to see the big stuff. And that big stuff will tell us that our faith is working. No, let me tell you something. If something small is moving, faith is moving. Glory to God. We want to just look at the big stuff. Oh, my God. But God says, do not forget the little things. Oh, my God. Despise not the days of small beginnings. We want to look at that big stuff and say, oh, yes, my faith is moving. And we miss the small things, the significant things that faith is doing. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You better identify the small things huh? and learn to rejoice over the small things. Huh? Oh, glory to God. And learn to rejoice over the small things. Huh? That is good. Huh? It is happening. Huh? It's the little things. Huh? It's the little things. Huh? I don't care if you celebrate with me. Huh? But it's the little things. Huh? You don't understand my praise. Huh? But something small is moving. Huh? That never moved before. Huh? And God told me to tell somebody. Huh? Faith is moving it. Huh? Because you have decided. Huh? To release your faith on that thing. Huh? And it's moving. Huh? It's shifting. Huh? is transitioning come on let's give God praise huh, for the small victories huh. come on let's give God praise huh, for the small things moving in our lives hey God hey God hey God we always want to show everybody the big stuff but God told me to tell you learn to celebrate the small things hey learn to celebrate the small things Hey, God, learn to celebrate the small things. Glory to God. Hey, God, hallelujah. The Bible said, if we be faithful over the small, he'll make a ruler over much. It does not say if we be faithful over the much, he'll make us ruler over the small. He said, if we be faithful over the small things, he will make us ruler over the much. So I got to learn to celebrate God for the small things. For the small victories. Glory to God. Hey God. You better come get me Elder. Because God is telling somebody. That I want you to learn. To celebrate the small victories. Huh? Learn to celebrate the small victories. Huh? Glory to God. Hey God. Hey. 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 Be faithful over the small things. King James said, be faithful over the little things. Huh? But be faithful over the small things. Be faithful over the little things. Huh? God said, I will make you ruler over the much. Huh? We want to just celebrate the much. Huh? But I've learned in my life working with God to learn to celebrate God for the small things. Hey, God. Hey, God. Father, we thank you. For victory in the small things. Huh? Father, we thank you. Huh? For victory in the small things. Huh? Father, I pray. Huh? For a spirit of discernment. Huh? To recognize small victories. Huh? That we do not bypass huh? small victories. Huh? But we've learned huh? to pause huh? and praise huh? in the small victories. Huh? We've learned huh? to pause huh? and worship huh? in the small victories. Huh? We've learned huh? to pause huh? and praise huh? in the small victories. In Jesus' name, I need somebody huh, on this live feed huh, to give our God, huh, your God, huh, a victory praise huh, for the small things. Hey, hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. The small things, the small things, the small things. Huh. The small things. It may not be big to you. And I'm okay that you ain't rejoicing with me. But you haven't been in this place all this time in bondage. But I see something moving. Hey. I said I see something moving, Elder. Elder David, I see something moving over your life. Hey, God. Elder David, I see something moving. I see something moving. 
I don't know what it is, but there's a movement taking place. There's a movement. Something shifted. Something moved. It was little, but it was significant. It was small, but it is significant. Said the Spirit of God. Something little shifted. But that little shift is about to cause an earthquake. And God is saying, I'm about to release a blessing over your life because you learn to celebrate the small things. Glory to God. Hey. Hey, God. Hey, God. I see it for your elder. I see it for your elder. Something is shifting. Something moved. It was small. It was minute. But something shifted. Something moved. That small, minute shift is going to cause a cataclysm that God said, I'm about to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, sir. Glory to God. Hey. Hey, Father God, I pray that we do not discount the small things. Father God, I pray that we discount not the small things, but we learn to celebrate the small victories. Because God, your word says, if I be faithful in the small things, that God, you will make me ruler over much. God, let my eyes not be so focused on the much that I forget the small things, that I forget the little things. Father, we thank you now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. For families coming together The small things A text message From a lost loved one A text message From a daughter or a son The small things Come on give God praise Hey Hey I said come on give God praise I said come on give God praise I said come on give God praise I said, come on, give God praise. Huh. Something is moving, Elder. Huh. Something is shifting. Huh. I feel this in my spirit. Huh. Something is moving for you, man of God. Huh. The small things. Huh. But that small thing huh, is significant. Huh. It's about to cause huh, an earthquake of blessing huh, that's going to hit your house. Huh. Hey, God. Huh. I feel God. Huh. I feel huh, the prophecy. Huh, Coming in this house, God said, get ready, be prepared, hold your ground, stay on the wall for the small things. Hey, 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 can we rejoice? Can we acknowledge uh, that God, uh, I repent uh, for not celebrating the small things, uh, but I've learned uh, in this war room uh, to learn to celebrate the small things. Uh, hey! 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 Get your eyes off the big thing. And learn to celebrate God for the small things. For the small things. For the small things. For the small things. You know what a small thing is? When you pay all of your bills. And you do not fall in overdraft this month. And God still provides. See, you don't know about that. Just getting your bills paid. And not falling in overdraft. Because you used to be in overdraft. But Jehovah Jireh huh, have sustained you huh, in the small things. Huh, and now huh, your money is your money. Huh, the bank huh, is not taking your money. Huh, I need you to celebrate God huh, for the small things. Huh, I used to be in overdraft. Huh, but now I'm not in it no more. Huh, I've learned to celebrate God huh, for the small things. Huh, I used huh, to complain huh, about ramen noodles and hot dogs but God I understand to celebrate you for the small things hey, 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 hey. I don't know about you but when you ever get to a point of being an overdraft and overdraft month 
after month after month. Huh? But when God, huh? but when God steadies that thing, huh? and you're no longer in overdraft. Huh? As a matter of fact, I hear the word of God say huh? that prosperity huh? is about to hit your house, Monique Thompson. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? I hear the word of God say huh? a thousand fold harvest. Huh? God is about to release a thousandfold harvest. Glory to God. I just see prosperity. I just see finances will never be your issue again. Said the Spirit of God. Hey. 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 Glory to God. 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 I just see press down, shaking together, and running over. Press down, shaking together, and running over. As a matter of fact, somebody owes you something. Somebody owes you some finances that you have forgotten about. And I hear the Spirit of God say, Press down, shaking together, shall men give into thy bosom. Glory to God. I don't know, but you have given somebody some money. And you have said, You know what? Let them have it. But God said that He's about to release a thousandfold harvest in your life. Because of your faithfulness in a small thing. Hey, 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 I feel God. I feel God and my spirit feels good. I feel God and my spirit feels good. God said that he's about to release a supernatural press down. Shaking together harvest in your life. Hey. 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 Can we give God a Holy Ghost praise? For that word to our sister. Huh? Hey God. Hey. Hey. Hey, come on, bless God for that word. Huh? Come on, bless God for that word. Huh? Come on, bless God for that word. Huh? We're not hating on her. Huh? We're celebrating her. Huh? We're not hating on her. Huh? We're celebrating her. Huh? We're not hating on Elder. Huh? We're celebrating him. Huh? Because God said huh, that we need to learn huh, to rejoice huh, with those that rejoice. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Glory to God. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 glory to God, Luke 16 and 10, hey, Luke 16 and, and 10, let me give you some word, my God, my God, my God, oh, I feel this, oh, I feel the presence of the Lord, Luke 16 and 10 reads like this, hey, he that is faithful, Hey, he who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. Hey, God said if you're faithful in a small thing, he'll make you faithful in the much. Oh my. Hey, glory to God. Hey, hear what I'm telling you. Hear what I'm telling you. You're never going overdraft. You're never going overdraft. Some of us, we got used to living in overdraft in our finances. But God said that ends today. That ends tonight. That ends tonight. I feel good in my spirit. I feel good in my spirit. God said you are never going overdraft again. God said you'll never go in and again. It ends tonight. You'll never go in overdraft again. As a matter of fact, you're not going to settle for overdraft. As a matter of fact, 
God is going to give you wisdom. Huh? He's going to give you strategy huh? on how to manage your finances. Huh? That you'll never go in overdraft again. Huh? This is the last night huh? that you'll be in overdraft financially. Huh? I don't know who needs to hear this word. Huh? But God said this is the last night huh? that man is going to make money off of you. Huh? This is the last night huh? that man is going to make money off of you. Huh? This is the last night huh? that you will be in overdraft. Huh? Said the Spirit of God. Huh? I need somebody huh, to receive that word. Huh? I need somebody huh, to receive that word huh, in Jesus' name. Hey! 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 I will never be in overdraft again. I will never be in overdraft again. I will never be in overdraft again. Father, give me a strategy. Father, give me wisdom on how to manage my finances. On how to be a better steward over my money. How to be a better steward over what you've given me. God, give me the wisdom. Give me the strategy to manage my finances. God, give it to me. Give me the wisdom. Your wisdom. God, your word declares that anybody asks for wisdom that God you shall give it unto them liberally and God we asking you for wisdom tonight Father God I pray that you pour out wisdom on how to handle finances give us a strategy on how to handle our money we want to be a better steward over our finances glory to God in Jesus name I need everybody to give God praise for giving you wisdom giving you strategy on how to handle your money. Hey! Hey! Hey, God! Hey, God! Hey, God! Hey, God! Hey, God! Hey, God! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Hey, God! Yes, Lord! Hey! Hey! Hey God, hey God, as a matter of fact, Stodger, huh, you are gifted with finances. Huh? Stodger Sonye, huh? you have the gift huh, to deal with money. Huh? You have the gifting, huh? you have the anointing huh, to deal with finances. Huh? And I hear the Spirit of God say huh, that he huh, that begun a good work in you huh, shall complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Huh? There is a financial harvest. Huh? There is a financial opportunity huh, that is coming your way. Huh? You are gifted huh, in finances. Huh? I see the word CPA. Huh? I see the word CPA. Huh? I see the word CPA. Huh? And I glory to God. My God. I see the word CPA. I see the word CPA over your life. Huh? You are good with finances. Huh? And you may be saying, why? Huh? How is this so? Huh? How is this so? Huh? You know how to manage. Huh? As a matter of fact, huh? you have you have managed other people's money before. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? And I hear the Spirit of God say huh? that there is an opportunity huh? that's going to come your way. Hear me. Huh? God say huh? that there is a CPA opportunity. Huh? Glory to God. As a matter of fact, it is an all branch huh, of what you're doing now. Woo! Hear me. God said that there is a CPA opportunity coming to you. It is an off branch of what are you doing now. God is saying you will not have to leave this job to work that job. God said the other job is another stream of income because you have been faithful in the small and God is about to open up another door of financial income. Glory to God. I just see the word CPA. I just see the word CPA. And this is an off branch of what you're currently doing. This is another door. Glory to God. This is another door. This is another door. Hallelujah. I feel this for you. This is another door. Some glory to God. It's a, it's, it, it is a stream of income in addition to what you have. Glory to God. Hey. Hey, my, 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 streams of income, streams of income. Hey, 
Streams of income. Streams of income. Hey. Hey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is a term in a financial world that's called passive income. Passive income. Do you understand what passive income is? Passive income is income you don't have to work for, but it's money coming to you. Glory to God. It's, it's called passive income. Money that you don't have to work for, but it's going to come to you. Hallelujah. That's what this other branch, that's what this off branch is. It's going to be considered passive income. Oh my God. Oh my God. It is money that is coming to you. It is called passive income. My God. I just hear the word of God say passive income. My God. My God. Passive income. It is money that is working for you. Hey. It is money that is working for you. I just hear the word of God say passive income. My God. Hey. My God. My God. Shadow I feel this for you. I feel this for you. I see the word passive income. My God, my God, my God. Father God, do it as you have declared. As you have declared. Passive income is going to find our daughter. It's going to find your our sister, your daughter. Passive income. Glory to God. God said this is a confirmation to you. God said this is a confirmation to you. It is money that's going to find you. It is money that is working for you. It is money that you have planted over here. Oh my God. My God. Woo! This is a confirmation to you, Stodger. Woman of God, this is a confirmation to you. This is a confirmation to you. I just feel the prophetic flow concerning your life. This is a confirmation to you. Glory to God. God said, I heard you. It has been a prayer. It has been something you've been asking or seeking God for. God said, I heard you. God said, he's going to make it happen for you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. What was that? She said, I was just talking about this. This is God confirming that to you. It is passive income. Hey. Hey. Come on, let's give God victory. Let's give God praise for that confirming word that God said, I heard you. Hey, come on. My God, my God, I feel this. My God, my God. Hey, my God, my God. Hey, yes, he will, Sister Tamika. Yes, he will. God will do it. God said, I've heard your prayers. God said, I've glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God said, I was a part of that conversation. I was right. My God. I feel this. The Spirit of God said that He was part of, He was in that conversation when you was having a conversation. Woo! Woo! God said, I was right there in the midst of that conversation. Woo! I heard you. I heard you. God said, I heard you. Hey, come on, let's bless God. Hey, come on, let's bless God. Come on, let's bless God. Come on, let's bless God. Isn't it amazing? Huh? Father, we thank you for this confirming word. Huh? We thank you for blessing our sister with this word. Huh? That God is just confirmation. Huh? That passive income is coming her way. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? God, we thank you now. Huh? We praise you in advance huh? for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. Huh? Hallelujah. Hey. Glory to God. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You better celebrate heaven. You better celebrate God and let God know somebody need to be saying thank you, Jesus, huh, for hearing me. Hey. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, that is your word. It is so, and so it is. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Focus faith. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate our sister. Let's celebrate our sister for receiving that confirmation. Huh? For receiving that confirmation. Huh? I had no idea. Huh? I was not part of that confirmation. I was not part of that conversation. But God heard you. Huh? And God brought that word huh, in this war room huh, to confirm to you huh, that he heard you. Huh, and he's about to release it in your life. Hey. Hey. Glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Come on and bless his name. Hey, blessing to you, Lady Tamika. Lady LaShawn, blessing to you. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God knows. God sees all things. God knows and God sees all things. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 Oh, my, 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 my. God said, I heard you. God said, I heard you. Hey. My God, my God, my God. Hey, God. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. Let me tell you something. Whenever God confirms a word to you, you need to let the you need to let hell you need to let hell know that God heard you and hell is nervous now because your prayers have reached heaven. Hell is upset. You need to testify. Whenever God confirms a word to you, you need to testify and let the church know that God heard you, that God confirmed the word, and hell is nervous because God is about to release that passive income in your life. My God. Hey. My God, my God. My God, my God. Hey. Hey. Somebody put in those comments, passive income. Write that in those comments for our system. Passive income. Put that in those comments. Passive income. Hey, God. Put that in those comments, passive income for our sister. Because we want heaven to know that we heard that word. We want heaven to know that we that our sister received that word. That's it, passive income. Hey! Oh my God. Woo! Oh my God. Passive income. Hey! Passive income. Hey! 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 Hey, because you got seed in the ground already. My God, my God. Hey, God. Hey, God. But God heard you. Passive income. That's it. Blessings to you, Randy, sir. Blessings to you. Passive income. Hey, God. My God, my God, my God, my God. My God. Being faithful over the small things. God said, I will make a ruler over much. And we've learned to celebrate the small things. That our faith is moving. We're praying tonight about focus faith. Focus faith. That our faith is focused on what God has declared. We have declared tonight that we're going to lock our promise up. with That we're going to lock our promise up. And we're going to unlock it with our faith. And God is going to manifest that in our lives. So many times the enemy will come along, hear me. Enemy will come along trying to take what God has spoken to you. But you got to protect your promise. You, you got to protect your promise. You got to protect what God has spoken to you. Glory to God. And let no devil in hell take what God has, has promised you. I declare and I decree that everyone in this war room that whatever God has prophesied over your life shall come to pass. I don't care how difficult the enemy try to bring all kinds of hell and high water your way, but the word of God shall come to pass. I said it shall come to pass. You got to protect your promise. You got to protect glory to God. 
You better hear me. You got to protect your promise. Hear what I'm about to tell you. You know what we make a mistake in? We make a mistake in telling everybody else about the promise we God has spoken to us. And we're not protecting the promise. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. I said we are busy telling everybody else uh, about what the promises is in our lives. But we're not protecting the promise. We're telling everybody else. But we got to learn to protect the promise. Oh my God. Oh my God. My God, my God. Oh my God, my God, my God. Jesus understood this here. Jesus would often say, my time is not yet come. Jesus said, my time is not yet come. When Jesus would heal... He will tell them, do not tell them that I healed you. Because my time is not yet come. Because Jesus said, I got to protect the promise. The promise will be revealed on the cross. Oh my God. Am I helping anyone? Jesus would often say, my time is not yet here. My time is not yet come. He will heal and then he would say, do not tell them how you got. He would say, go and show yourself to the doctor. But hear me. Jesus said, my time has not yet come. Why? Because Jesus was protecting the promise. Oh, my God. The promise was revealed on the day that Jesus died on the cross. When Jesus said this here. Oh, my God. It is finished. Redemption to all men has come to pass. It is finished. I'm going to reveal to each and every one of you why I came on this earth to redeem mankind. My time has come. Listen to me. It was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus went from saying my time is not yet here to my hour has come. In other words, the promise is about to come to pass. I have protected it long enough. But God said your promise has a timetable. Your promise has an hour that it has to come to pass. But we must be faithful to protect the promise. Am I helping anyone? Am I helping anyone? Oh my God. Oh my God. Am I helping anyone? Am I helping anyone tonight? Am I helping anyone? Hey God. Oh my God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Am I helping anyone? Glory to God. Listen to me. In John chapter 7, Jesus said, in verse 6, Jesus said this here. Therefore, Jesus told them, My time is not yet here, for you any time will do. Listen to me. Jesus said, My time is not yet here. I got to protect this promise. But go to John chapter 12 and verse 23. Jesus said this here. Jesus replied, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. My God, my God. Jesus went from protecting it because you got to have a discernment to recognize when your hour comes for your promise to come to pass. I declare and I decree um, in the name of Jesus um, that God we do not miss the hour um, that the time comes that we um, must step into our promise. Um, God I pray in the name of Jesus um, that we do not miss the hour um, that we understand that our promise um, has a season um, that our promise um, have a time date step on it um, and we shall not miss the hour. Um, glory to God. Hey God. Jesus said, my hour has not come. And then he goes on. Jesus said, my hour has not come in John chapter 7. And verse 6, Jesus said, my time is not yet here. In other words, I am carrying a promise. I am the promise. I am the gift to the world. But God is not going to release this gift until I go on. On, on, on the cross on Calvary when I shed my blood and redeemed mankind 
And that's why Jesus said, it is finished. Hey, because the gift has been revealed to all mankind. Whoa, God. The hour has come for the Son of Man to be betrayed, for me to go to the cross. God told me to tell somebody that your promise has an hour. Your promise has a date on it that it shall come to pass. Come on, give God praise in this house. My God, my God, did I help anyone? Did I help anyone? I pray that I help somebody. I pray that it helps somebody that we cannot go around sharing the promises to everyone. We have to protect the promise. The promise has an hour that it must manifest itself. Okay, listen to me, listen to me. I did not want to come here to Fort Polk, Louisiana. My wife and I did not want to come here. But let me tell you, when the hour came for us to birth purpose life was August 2015. That was the hour that the promise was to be released in the earth realm. Oh, glory to God. Am I helping anybody tonight? Am I helping anybody tonight? When you look back over your life and you got released for some things, your hour has come for God to release you from that circumstance. My God, do you not know that the stronghold you in has a time on it and it's up glory to God? I, I feel this. I feel this. Am I helping anybody tonight? Am I helping anybody tonight? Your vision has a time date stamp on it. When you step out into your vision and your vision manifests, the hour has come. Oh my God, oh my God. The hour has come. I said the hour has come. The hour has come for the manifestation of God's blessings over the people of God. The hour has come, Andre. Glory to God. Woo. The hour has come for you to make that move. The hour has come, Andre, for you to make that move. The hour has come, Andre, for you to make that move. The hour, oh glory, I feel this for you, sir. I feel this for you. The hour has come for you to make that move. The hour is now. The hour is now. Woo! The hour is now. The hour has, my God, I feel that for you, Andre. I feel that for you. The hour has come for you to make that move. Woo! Woo! My God. The hour has come for you to make that move. The hour has come, my God, for that decision. My God, hallelujah. The hour has come for you, sir. My God, it, it, my God. The hour, I just hear God told me to release that to you, Andre. You know what that means. God told me to tell you your hour has come. The time is now for you to make that move. The time is now for you to make that decision. The time is now. Glory to God. I feel this for you. I feel this for you. It's like you have been waiting for God to release it to you. It's like you have been waiting for God to release it to you. It's like you have been waiting for the Father to tell you when. And God told me to tell you the hour has come for you. Woo! Woo! The time is now for you to make that move. Hey, whatever that move is, hey, but I hear God say, the time is now. Your hour has come. Hey, God. Hey, God, my God. Woo! Oh, I feel this. Oh, I feel there is a prophetic flow huh, that is in this war room. Huh? There is a prophetic flow huh, that is in this war room. Huh? And you need to come in this war room huh, with your faith. Huh? Because if you have faith enough to believe it, huh, God is going to release some things in your life. Huh? God told me to tell you, Andre, the hour has come. Hey. Father.
Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for the hour for our brother has come. And God, he said he received it. God, we rejoice with him. God, we thank you for it now, for the decision that he made. And I declare and I decree, everything will work out. It's going to be a smooth transition. Glory to God. It's going to be a smooth transition. It's going to be a smooth transition. It's going to be a smooth transition. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You suffered long enough, says God. It's going to be a smooth transition. The hour has come. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Let's send up those hearts to heaven for our brother. For our brother, for our brother, glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. A servant's heart. A servant's heart. Hey. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Let's rejoice for that word. Let's rejoice with our brother. Hey, Father, we thank you. Hey, hey, hey. My God, my God, my God. There is a prophetic flow in here. That's why you got to come to this war room with faith. My God, my God. I'm going to share some things with you, not tonight. But the Holy Spirit of God has been sharing with me concerning this war room. The Holy Spirit of God has shared with me some things concerning this war room. I'm not going to share it with you tonight. But hear what I'm telling you. This war room is a movement and God is about to take it higher. Hear what I'm telling you. This war room is a movement and God is about to take it higher. This war room is a, is a kingdom movement and God is about to take it higher. Yes, God. Yes, God. And I'm going to release it to you when God tells me to release it to you. What God has plans for this war room. Hear what I'm telling you. The kingdom of God has plans for this war room. It is not by accident that we started this. This is an ordained kingdom war room. Pastor Jeff didn't seek it. Purpose Life didn't seek it. But God gave it to us and we have been found faithful in it. Hear what I'm telling you. I heard the Spirit of God told me this in my spirit. And I'm going to release it to you when he tell me to release it to you. But this war room is intentional. And God is about to take it higher. I will let you know what that means as we go on. But I am excited. This war room, that's why I tell you. This war room is not by happenstance. This is a divine kingdom assignment. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. This war room is a divine kingdom assignment. And God spoke some things in my spirit. And I'm going to release it to you when he want me to release it to you. But I, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. It's going to blow our mind. I'm here to tell you. It is going to be absolutely radical. It's going to be absolutely radical. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every one of you that's been in this war room. Hear me. You are kingdom assigned. I say you are kingdom assigned to this war room. My God, my God. You are kingdom assigned to this war room. Hear me. Hear me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Leo, get ready for a kingdom elevation. Hear me, sir. Hear me. Get ready for a kingdom elevation. Get ready. Get ready. I know it has been spoken over your life. God said get ready for a kingdom elevation. Oh my God. My God, my God. Hallelujah. 
God said, I have looked at your heart. I have discerned your heart, says God. Concerning you, Leo, God said, I have discerned your heart. God told me to tell you tonight, sir, that there is a kingdom elevation coming to you. I have discerned your heart. I have discerned your heart. I have discerned your heart, says God. God said that there is a kingdom elevation coming to you. There is a kingdom elevation coming to you, Leo. God said, I have discerned your heart. Your heart is for me, says God. There is a kingdom elevation coming to you, Leo. You serve with no quarrels. You serve with love. You serve with respect. You serve with dignity. You serve with excellence. It is not by happenstance. It is not by happenstance, Leo. It is not, it is not, it is not. The kingdom assignment that God has assigned for you. I need you to understand this. Because you have a servant's heart. You have a servant's heart. You have a servant's heart. You don't do it for fame. You don't do it for pastor to look at you. You don't do it for your wife to look at you. You do it because you just love God. And you want to be found faithful. You have been found faithful, Leo. You have been found faithful, sir. You have been found faithful. You have been found faithful. And you didn't ask for this. You didn't ask for this. You didn't ask for this. You didn't ask for it. Whatever you want me to do, God, I'm just happy to serve. I'm just happy to serve. You have a service heart, Leo, and it, 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 it is not by happenstance. Hallelujah. 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 The kingdom assignment that's on your life. You have to understand this. That God is saying that I have found you faithful. Listen to me, Leo. Listen to me. Not only in his house. But he has found you faithful in your house. Because you cannot be faithful in, in the house of God until you're faithful in the house that you're in. Because your family is your first ministry. Your family is your first ministry. Listen to me, Leo. You have been found faithful in your house. You have made the ultimate sacrifice to grab hold of God. To grab hold of God and you not let him go. God said, I have found you faithful in your house, and I have found you faithful in my house. Therefore, I'm elevating you in the kingdom. Therefore, I'm elevating you in the kingdom. Therefore, I'm elevating you in the kingdom to be a servant in the house of God. To be a servant in the house of God. And I have to be careful as your pastor. I have to be careful as your pastor. So I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to come and I'm going to speak to you. And I'm going to share this word with you, sir. What God has given me to release to you. But I'm going to share it with you. Not here. But when we talk, God wanted me to release it over your life. And I'm going to share it over your life.
I'm going to release it to you when we come together. But God said that He is elevating you in the kingdom. He's elevating you in the kingdom. Get ready. Get ready. My God. My God, my God. My God, my God. Can we just celebrate God? Can we just celebrate God? That our brother is being elevated in the kingdom. And I'm going to release it to you, Leo, when we come together. I must be obedient to the Holy Spirit. When we come together, I'm going to release it to you. I'm going to speak that word over your life. I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to release that word to you. I hear it. I see it. I see it. I hear it. I saw you walking in it on Pentecost Sunday. I saw you walking in it on Pentecost Sunday. I saw it. I saw it, sir. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw you walking in it on Pentecost Sunday. And I said, God, is it now? He said, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. But you was walking in it on Pentecost Sunday. You was. You was walking in it on Pentecost Sunday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, sir, I celebrate you, Leo. I thank God for you. I thank God for your family. Let's just rejoice. Let's just rejoice. Let's give God praise. Let's give God praise for our brother, for this elevation that's coming over his life, that has been that's about to be released in his life. Hallelujah. 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 Pentecost Sunday was transformational for you, Leo. I saw it on you. But I heard the Holy Spirit say, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But when I see you again as your pastor, I'm going to release this word over you. I'm going to release this elevation over you, this kingdom promotion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've been walking in it already. Hallelujah. And those that are walking with you, <laughs> those that are close to you, they see it as well. Father, we thank you now, God, for this word, for this kingdom elevation coming to our brother. Hey! Glory to God. We thank you now. In Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Hey! <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that are walking close to you, Leo, see it. Hear me. Those that are walking close to you, sir, they see it. They have discerned it. Hey! Hey! They're just waiting on the word to be released. Yeah. God said, I'm going to let you know. Yeah. 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 I've heard your prayer. Yeah. And I see your heart. Hey, God. Hey, God. Come on, let's bless heaven. Let's bless heaven tonight. Hey, God, let's bless heaven in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's bless heaven. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, glory to God, hallelujah. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah. Hey, hey, glory to God. Get ready for promotions increase. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This war room is intentional what God has released in me be, begin to share with me concerning this war room he's gonna really blow our minds he's about to take it to a place my God my God my God hallelujah 
that some of you on this live feed have been praying concerning this war room. Woo! Some of you on this live feed have been praying concerning this war room. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You have been beseeching heaven concerning this war room. Yes, you have. There are some people on this live feed that has literally been praying for this war room. You have been asking God, requesting unto God, petitioning heaven concerning this war room. God has heard you. God is about to do something concerning this war room. My God, my God, I will release it when he tell me to release it. But there are people in this war room tonight that have been praying concerning this war room. Hey, 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 my God, my God, my God, blessing to you, Constance. Glory to God. There have been people praying concerning this war room. I know myself, I have. First Lady has. But there have been some people outside of us that have been praying about this war room. God has heard us. God is going to do some things concerning this war room. I'm excited. I will release it to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm glad to have you back, Lady Mitchell. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You and your husband, Brandon, blessings to you. An amazing couple. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can't wait for us to fellowship again. But there have been prayers concerning this war room. Because what we have recognized, what we have recognized is this war room has literally been life-giving. My God. Woo! Hallelujah. God is about to take us higher and higher. Hallelujah. How many of you are excited about this War Room Wednesday? Just the War Room Wednesday that we hear on Wednesday. How many of you are excited about that? How many of you are excited about just War Room? Yeah. Yeah. It has literally been life giving. It has been. The War Room is more intimate than a Sunday service. Because it's more intimate. Because there is faith that is so palpable in this war room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know, Monique. Yeah. Yeah, there have been people praying for this war room. Um, you have been asking God blessings to you, Janice. You have been, you have been seeking God concerning this war room. Uh, because you have... You really have fallen in love with his presence. And my God, God has moved. The heart of God has moved. It is necessary. Hallelujah. I feel it. I feel, I feel it. Um, First Lady and I, she feel me. First Lady, she can tell me. She's like, I, I feel you. I tell you, when you're walking in one, you can feel the one you're walking in one with. And First Lady, she will often tell me, I feel you, I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. And to have that, <laughs> it changed my life. Um, so there is something that God is going to release. I'm just waiting on him to release it to me. Release me to release it to you, rather. Um, woo! Hallelujah. It is life-giving. It has not only changed... It has changed everyone's life. This war room is necessary, as Constance Joyner has said. It is necessary. We thank God for this war room. Uh, so, the hashtag, and I was just talking to the Holy Spirit today. So, the hashtag for this war room is hashtag PLWRW. So, hashtag PLWRW. So that's the hashtag concerning this war room. So put that in those comments. Hashtag PLWRW. Because God is going to start touching, reaching beyond our circle. That's it, Constant. Hashtag PLWRW. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
That's it. I miss that music, right? Right, and Andre? Blessings to you, man of faith. Hashtag PLWRW. That is the hashtag concerning this war room. Whenever we, whenever we post something on our social media that we received out of this war room, put that hashtag on there. Hashtag PLWRW to let heaven know that we receive that word. <laughs> Hallelujah. This Sunday is going to be amazing. Woo! Blessings to you, Leo. I can't wait to see you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever you receive a word or whenever you receive a confirmation, you go to your... That's right. Yes, hashtag it. Uh, put it on your social media. Hashtag PLWRW. That God has... Because God, he's going to start touching people with this war room. And I'm excited. I just gave you an indication right there. I just gave you an indication right there for those of you that God told me to hashtag this war room. And he said, hashtag a PLWRW. And we're going to start hashtagging it. And we're going to start seeing the hands of God. The reach of God. Begin and we're going to start seeing people gravitate to this war room. There is, my God. Woo! Y'all got me going. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's bless heaven. Let's thank God for this war room. Hey! God is going to reach outside of Leesville in this war room. And I can't wait to release it to you. But God is going to do some woo, hashtag PLWRW. My God, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hashtag PLWRW. War Room Wednesday. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. That's the hashtag for this war room. Share it with everybody. Elder David, blessings to you, sir. Can't wait to see our Purpose Life family on Sunday. We're super excited. I'm excited. My God, my God. Hashtag PLWRW. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is a movement, people. Hear me. That's not Pastor Jeff. That's coming from the Holy Spirit. God said this war room is a movement how many of you have been missing this war room tell the truth how many of you have missed this war room how many of you have can say i have missed this war room how many of you <laughs> Woo! hallelujah 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 i have missed this war room i have missed it myself Glory to God. Hallelujah. I missed the two stars. Glory to God. I have missed this war room. Woo-wee. Hallelujah. We have missed this war room. Glory to God. But there is something coming. There is something coming. God is. God. God has seen our heart and thirst for this war room. There is about to be a supernatural release. Woo! I have missed it too, Mother Millie. Missed it too, Antoinette. Missed it too, Jan uh, Janice. Missed it too, Sister Tamika. Glory to God. Come to church on Sunday. There is a word that God has for us. Glory to God. <laughs> yeah, take it with you. Whenever we log on, sis, you better log on with us. Hashtag PLWRW. Take it with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get ready for God to just take this war room to another level. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come in Sunday with a spirit of expectation. I was talking to a sister earlier about Pentecost Sunday. And she was like, Pastor, there was fire all over the room. How many of you can testify that there was fire all over the room? <laughs> Pentecost Sunday, there was fire all over the room. 
There were two altar calls on Pentecost Sunday. I don't know if anybody else realized that, but there were two massive altar calls on Pentecost Sunday. At the beginning of the service and at the end of service, there were two massive altar calls. The altar was full. I don't know if anybody noticed that. It was the glory wave. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There were two massive altar calls on Pentecost Sunday. The altar was packed. It was the glory wave. During the worship and during the word, the glory wave came in. And we got on that wave, Leo. And we start riding the wave. Hear me what I'm about to share with you. That glory wave, I hear the Spirit of God say, welcome purpose life to the new normal. I hear the Spirit of God say, concerning the glory wave, God say, welcome purpose life to the new normal. It is the new normal, said the Spirit of God. I hear the Spirit of God say, Welcome purpose life to the new normal. The glory wave. God say, It is the new normal. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is the new normal. It is the new normal. Everyone got there. We expected to get on the wave. But I hear the Spirit of God say, It is the new normal. It is not just for that moment, but it is. A movement Andre it is the new normal hey so from here on out says the Spirit of God come in the house of God with that same Pentecost expectation and God said the glory wave will fall and hit the house because it is the new normal hey oh I feel that it is the new normal hey 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 it is the new normal. Hey, hey, God said, away with church as usual. I'm not going to do church as usual. Huh? I am looking for some people huh, that is thirsty huh, for the new normal, huh, for the unusual, huh, for the unexpected. Huh? God said, I huh, am about to hit purpose life huh, with a new normal. Hey, hey, with a new normal. Hey. Hey, somebody give God praise. I celebrate you, God, for the new normal. Hey, 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 hey. We, as the people of God, need to build on Pentecost Sunday. The Bible said, what happened after the day of Pentecost, the Bible said they added to the church daily. That's what happened. They added to the church daily. Because of Pentecost Sunday, the Bible said they added to the church daily. Hear what I'm telling you tonight. People of God, get ready for the addition. Get ready for, new, for the new harvest of souls that's going to come in purpose life. The Bible said... They add it to the church daily. Get ready for the new harvest. Get ready for the new souls coming in. There are going to be families coming in. There are going to be families coming in. There are going to be young folks coming in. Glory to God. There are, hear me. There are going to be young people coming in the house of God. That are thirsty for the house of God. There are going to be young families coming in the house of God. Hear what I'm telling me. Hear what I'm telling you. God said there are going to be new New harvest, new souls, new families. Hear this. My God, there is a new harvest. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. What happened on Pentecost Sunday? We need to begin. To enlarge our capacity to receive this new harvest. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me tonight? Are you hearing me tonight? So don't allow 
that Pentecost sun, Sunday to be a one-time thing. It is a movement. New families, new souls coming into the church. They add it to the church daily. So I expect a new harvest, new souls to be in the church every Sunday. And I need everybody on this live to connect your faith with my faith to believe that a new harvest of souls, of families, is coming into the house of God because God said two services are about to take place in the house of God. Hey, God. Hey. Hey. How many of you believe that with me? Hey. Hey. Woo! Hey, two services is going to happen because the harvest is coming. New souls are coming. Hear what I'm telling you. It is truly harvest time. There are people outside of purpose life that needs to be in purpose life. You know them and I know them. We need to go and evangelize these streets and let people know about a man named Jesus. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, hey, oh, you're going to be part, Andre. You're going to be a part, sir. Hey, you're going to be a part. Hey, hey, hear me, hear me. Two services are going to hit Purpose Life. Hear me. Hey, hey, we need to get out and evangelize these streets. Let people know about a man named Jesus. Come on now. Hey. Hey, hear me. Hear me. This word, this experience, our encounter with God in this war room on Sunday cannot just be kept to ourselves. We got to go out in these streets and be like the woman at the well and say, come see a man that have told everything about me. We need to go and evangelize these streets. And say, let me tell you about a man named Jesus. Have you encountered the Holy Spirit? Do you know what the Holy Spirit is? Huh? Have you encountered huh? a real authentic worship move of God? Huh? Do you know what that is? Huh? Well, let me tell you huh, about a man named Jesus. Huh? And let me tell you about a church huh, that is so radical, huh, that is so authentic, huh, that is so beyond tradition, huh, that they allow God to move. Huh? We got to go out and evangelize these streets huh, and tell the people huh, about a man named Jesus. Hey, come on now. We can't keep this to ourselves. We can't hoard this to ourselves. We got to let people know about it. We got to let people know about it. Let people know about Jesus. Let them know about the encounters we have encountered with the Holy Spirit. Let them know about this war room. Hey. 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 Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessings to everyone. Hallelujah. Before we get off, let's send up those hearts to heaven. Let heaven know that we are excited to be back in this war room. Let heaven know we are excited to be back in this war room. Blessings to my wife, first lady. My ride or die. My sun and moon. Hallelujah. Thank God for her. Travel with me. Fly with me. Go all around the world with me. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. Get ready. Purpose life. Get ready. Everybody need to be in place. God is putting everybody in place. For purpose life is about to. Woo. Do y'all see how packed Purpose Life was on Pentecost Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, get ready for that. Times two. Oh, okay. I need somebody to say times two. What happened on Pentecost Sunday? Get ready for that. Times two. Two services. 
two services. Hey, come on now. See, I need some radical people. I need some people like Leo and Elder. And, and you know, that's radical. And Andre, that's radical. Times two, Monique. Times two. Purpose Life was packed to the guild on Pentecost Sunday. Times two. It's going to be packed. That's why it's going to be two services. Hey. To all the leaders, get ready. Put on schedule. Get ready to be put on schedule. To all the leaders, get ready to be put on schedule. Hey. Hey. God, I'm telling you, the new normal. The new normal. The new normal. The new normal. Woo! Hallelujah. I tell you, I feel good in my, I feel good in my spirit. I feel good in my spirit. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I refuse to allow, I refuse as a pastor, as a man of faith, to allow what I see on the outside dictate what God has shown me on the inside. I said, I refuse as a man of God of purpose life to allow what I see on the outside dictate what God has shown me on the inside. And he says, time two, packed services. Oh, the harvest is here. Y'all better not let Leesville. Don't discount Leesville. Hear me. See, we need a church that is on the cusp, that is on the precipice, that is on the verge of doing a paradigm shift. We need that type of church movement huh, where people need to see God move huh, in supernatural ways. Huh. Do not allow this little town of Leesville huh, dictate your faith huh, or dictate we serve a big God. Huh. We don't serve a small town God. Huh. We don't serve a small town. We serve a big God. Huh. The harvest is here. It's the laborers that's few. And so, God, I'm praying for the laborers huh, to go out and get the harvest huh, and give me some men and women of faith huh, that have your heart huh, to assist me on this assignment huh, to build, huh, to build disciples, huh, to birth ministries. Oh, my God. There are ministries that's going to be birthed out of purpose life. There are ministries that are going to be birthed out of purpose life. We serve a big God. Do not allow ha, this small town ha, mindset ha, put your God in a box. Ha. God said purpose life ha, is the church ha, that he's going to show himself strong through. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Send me the laborers, God. Ha, as a man of God, ha, send me the laborers ha, that would assist ha, the laborers that have your heart, ha, that would assist with the harvest that is coming in. Ha. In the name of Jesus, ha, we need the laborers, God. Ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, those that are not looking for a title, ha, those that are not looking for a position, ha, but those ha, that are willing to put their hands on the plow ha, and don't look back. Ha, the harvest is plenteous. Ha, but the laborers are few. Ha. Father God, I pray ha, as the man of God, ha, as the pastor, ha, as the shepherd of purpose life, ha, that God, you will send me laborers ha, with your heart. Ha, laborers ha, without their own agenda. Ha, laborers ha, without their own reason to come. Ha, but they only come in ha, to serve in the kingdom of God. Ha, God, send me the laborers ha, to assist in this field. Ha, in the name of Jesus. Ha, Amen, amen, amen. Hey. Hey, God. Hey, God. Woo! Well, I gotta go. Woo! Woo! Faithful laborers. Faithful laborers. Faithful laborers. We got people moving from state to state just to come in here because God has moved them, has shifted them. God is moving laborers and servers from another state to come and serve and put they come on now. You mean to tell me glory to God? Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
God has, is sending laborers from other states to come here. And you mean to tell me? God said however he's going to do it, he's going to do it. There's no devil in hell that's going to stop the assignment. That's going to stop what God has called Purpose Life to do. We're going to do it. People will be equipped. They will know Jesus on another level. Hey. Hey. Woo. Hey. Hey, 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 I just let you in on that prayer, yeah. because when I talk to the Father, I pray earnestly for laborers that are after your heart, God, not those that are trying to please the pastor or the first lady or the elder or the evangelist, but those that are after your heart, God. Woo! Woo. Woo. Those that are in the back row they said, I can serve, Pastor. I'm here to serve. 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 I believe in this church. I believe in the call of God that's on my pastor's life. I believe in the word of God that comes in this ministry. I believe that this is the place that God has planted me and rooted me. I want to serve. I'm a laborer. I'm a laborer. I'm a laborer. You hear me? I'm a laborer. Pastor, I'm a laborer. Glory to God. Don't get caught up on your titles. I understand, respect those, give honor what honor is due. But please don't get caught up in your title. We all are servants. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. He's not going to say, well done, thy good and faithful pastor, evangelist, prophet, teacher, apostle. He's going to say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. All of us are servants in the kingdom. Hallelujah. I'm here to serve. Woo! Man, I feel good. I feel good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. I'm a servant. Woo! Servants with the heart of God. That's it. That's it. Woo. That's it. A servant. A servant. I'm just here to serve. I'm not trying to be seen. I don't want to be heard. I'm just here to serve. What needs to be what gap needs to be filled? I'm here to serve. I'm here to serve. I'm here to serve. Woo! My God, my God. Woo! God's gonna honor you, man of God, Leo. Woo! Blessings to everyone. It is 9.05. Woo. My God. Wherever you need me. I'm here to serve. Yee. Woo. Hallelujah. Make that decision, Constance. Woo. Make that decision, Constance. Love you, woman of God. Love your spirit. Love your humbleness. Make that decision, woman of faith. Woo! Blessed to see you, Andre. Father, we thank you for this war room. Wednesday, thank you, God, for everyone that is in this room, God. Our faith is stirred. Our faith, we have focused faith tonight. God, let us go forth. Let us continue to do great things for the kingdom. Sunday, God, we are super excited about Sunday because we are looking for the new normal. Yee! Blessings to you, God. We honor you. We reverence you, God, as we lay our head to pillow tonight. God, I pray peace in every circumstance. Healing in our bodies. Hey, we are healed. We are healthy. We are restored. We bless you tonight. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Hey. Blessings. Hope to see you, Andre, this Sunday. Blessings to everybody. Have a great night. Woo! Hashtag PLWRW is live. Woo! Hallelujah. Woo! I'm here to talk, Randy. If you want to talk, brother, hit me up tomorrow. 
but you already know sir you already know my friend you already know Woo you already know you already know you already know Randy you and my sister lady Mitchell you guys blessings to you call me tomorrow call me whenever we want to talk but I believe there are some things that God confirmed for you tonight as well hallelujah Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You guys have an amazing night. Pray for me. Pray for First Lady. God will keep us covered and protected. Can't wait to see our PL family on Sunday. Love you guys. Blessing to you, Elder Mother Millie. Woo. Hallelujah. Higher and higher. That's what we said before we signed off, right? Higher and higher. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. Higher and higher, Starship. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you, Leo. I'm excited for everyone in this war room. Hey, share it with people. Share it with someone that you know. That this war room will benefit. Blessings to you, Kayla. My princess, blessings to you. Glad you was in here with us. Woo. Love you, Kayla. Love you guys. Yo, guys, have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Woo. Yep. Share it with people. My God, that right there. War Room Thursday? No. Ooh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No. No no war room tomorrow. Woo! Listen to that. Things. Have a good night, everyone. See you on Sunday. It's going to be live. The new normal. Woo! I can't even hardly wait. Bless you guys. Hallelujah. <laughs>